this is super cool. So when I asked for Christmas presents for my kids, like the one thing that stood out beyond everything else was Turing Tumble. <laughs> People are like, can't get Turing Tumble. So it is a marble powered computer. And the deal is, is that you've got this big booklet and this booklet has got all these different little puzzles. And it says, okay, what you do is you get your board like this. And in this particular puzzle, you've got to start with every one of these little orange parts in place. So my daughter was halfway through this the other day and she set little orange parts up in there. And then it says you can have six little green parts. So you grab half a dozen of these little suckers here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Bam. And what you've got to do is you've got to set it up according to this so that when you press on the blue lever, you get a required output like this. And the output is eight blue marbles. None of the red ones, only the blue ones. So what you've got to do is sort of figure out, okay, if a blue marble comes down here, how do I get it to pass through here using these, they're like little rockers, in order to complete the puzzle without any of the marbles falling out of position. So they can't fall down the board. So it's really interesting to watch the kids playing with this because what they do is they start to build it and they like debug their code as they go along by sort of running their finger along it like this. So we go, okay, if I go down to there, then the marble will fall there, then it will fall there. And then it would go to one of these sides. So I guess if we go to either side, so I have not actually done this puzzle before. Could go there, could go there if it goes. Uh, so you don't want to do that because that would then fall. But if we put it that way and it went there, we go down there. If this one goes here, then we go there. So then you put another one just here like this. fall into there so I don't want to go that way so you go this way instead and I'm going to run out of green things I'm going to use too many of them uh, all right just for fun we'll chuck this one in here and then they go okay push the lever does it work no okay fail 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 I have debugged this code I've done a dry run it does not work Let's go that way. I wonder if I can just use more of these. So if I was to go this way, so that would go there, that would tip it over into there, into here, into here, into here. I reckon going that way. Uh, let's try this, see what happens. See, the problem is, is that that code, oh, now we've got a red ball and there's balls everywhere. That code didn't execute sufficiently because the balls sort of free fell. And what happens is then they all start going nuts with this. So, chuck that one up there, that one up there. Let's just try this one again. So, one there, 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 there. And that actually fell out the side. So, what I need to do is I need to have this one... I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go this way. To there. And because it's falling that way, I don't want that because it will fall out to nowhere. So you go here. So it then fall here and we come here. And then will it go down to there? Let's try another dry run. All right, so I think if we grab this one, and then we put it there. Let's see how that works. That looks alright. And then as it's running, as you sort of look at your output, so we look down here and say, so, okay, there's all the blue balls matching the output here, but did that fall too far? Now, this was challenge seven, so you can always flick to the back of the book and get the answers. Now, I'm trying to stop the kids from flicking to the back of the book because I want them to solve themselves. But I'm curious, did mine fall too far? So what they say is they say, well, what you should do is you should do that one like that. So here, sure reference, all the answers. <laughs> so number seven, they're like, all right, we'll do this. 
Uh, see, they're tipping back that way, and then they're saying go over to here, and then that will fall down to there, and then they say dra drop this one over to here, so it falls that way, and then this one, so it falls that way, and then this one, which isn't needed there, see, this is better. This is much better. Because now it's not actually going to fall through any space that it doesn't need to. So you chuck all your marbles back up here. Marbles, 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 marbles. And give it another go. Shit. <laughs> I've lost a marble. Okay, so why did I lose a marble? Why did I lose a marble? It literally fell off the board. That's better, there we go. And that's it, and then the whole thing, like I'll get the same output as I got before, except it won't be because one of these marbles just kind of did like a massive fall. And that's it, and it just goes on with like more and more puzzles, and then as you go along, you get other little units like this, little rockers and cogs and stuff like that. I'm not quite sure what these ones do yet, I guess they send it in different directions. But it's super, super cool, and the kids have really been getting into it. So yeah, like massively recommended. This is a lot of fun. Uh, and I think I might go and play with it myself whilst they're not here.